OpenStack is a powerful open source cloud computing platform that allows IT teams to manage large pools of compute, storage, and networking resources. OpenStack provides integrations and tools to deploy both virtualized and containerized applications across the hybrid cloud. Dell Technologies provides infrastructure solutions that are seamlessly integrated and fully validated with various OpenStack distributions through close partnerships. In this demo, we'll see how you can get started with Dell PowerFlex Storage in Canonical's charmed OpenStack environment. Before we dive in, let's take a moment to talk about the Juju platform by Canonical. Juju is an open source orchestration engine for the deployment, integration, and lifecycle management of applications using special software operators called Charms. Charm Hub is a marketplace of Charm operators built for a variety of applications that can be used with a Juju command. Charmed OpenStack refers to Canonical's distribution of OpenStack that is optimized for easy deployment and operational efficiency enabled by the Juju framework. In fact, in this demo, we'll see how the Dell PowerFlex Charms can be used for deployment and monitoring of the required storage and compute drivers. Here are two YAML files that we'll be using to deploy the drivers. This particular YAML file is used to deploy the Cinder driver for PowerFlex storage. The configuration includes essential parameters like the PowerFlex gateway IP, login credentials, the protection domain, and storage pools to be used on PowerFlex. And this YAML file is used to deploy a PowerFlex host component called STC required by the Nova Compute Service to consume PowerFlex storage. To deploy the storage driver, I first use the juju deploy command with the Dell PowerFlex charm. Note that I need to pass the STC driver for Ubuntu as a resource to ensure the driver is correctly set up to handle block storage requests. I then use juju integrate to integrate the PowerFlex Cinder driver with the Cinder service. In exactly the same way, I deploy and integrate the STC component with the Nova Compute Service. Once available, you can see the PowerFlex Cinder service is active using the juju status command. You can also log into any one of the nodes to see the Cinder configuration is updated with the PowerFlex driver configuration. You can also see that the STC component is integrated with the Nova compute service. This means a workload on any of the Nova managed hosts will use SDC to consume and manage PowerFlex storage. Now let us deploy a VM with storage provision from PowerFlex. To do that, I first create a volume type and set PowerFlex as the backend. I then download an image for the VM and create an image object with it. Next, I create a bootable volume of the PowerFlex type that I just created with the VM image. With this boot volume, I create a VM with the OpenStack server create command. I see that the VM is provisioned. In the PowerFlex UI, we can see a volume has been created and is mapped to the STC corresponding to the OpenStack host. That concludes the demo. 
Thank you for watching.